it's your girl Maddie, aka Mad Juice, back with your August taroscopes. These are some of my favorite readings. I love hearing your feedback on them. And if you've never sat for one of these readings before, let me tell you what you can expect a little bit. I'm gonna pull three cards for you based on your zodiac sign. We're gonna pull a tarot card that's gonna really speak about like the energy around you that you can tap into and be aware of for the month ahead. I'm gonna pull one card that's like a soul-based self-care card of what you need, just you, not the outside world, how you take care of this. And then the third card we pull from our deck that we make here at the Cosmic RX, notes from your higher self. And this is just a sassy little love note. Think of it like a text message from your higher self. Something to keep in mind for the month ahead. And I also recommend checking these for your zodiac sun sign, but also for your rising or ascendant sign, okay? To get your full scope of what the vibe will be for the month ahead. Let's get started. All right, so what does this mean for Taurus and Taurus rising? Uh, my bodacious bulls, let's see what August has in store for you. Okay, ooh, your tarot card for the month ahead, the energy around you is the Princess of Swords. So this right off the bat feels like beginner's mind energy. There is something that you are starting or you are in a field, industry or situation where you have um, a lot of natural intelligence, maybe not that lived experience or those professional educational credentials, but don't worry about those things. Those things can be overrated because with those things, you can become jaded, you overlook things. Trust your beginner's mind. Trust what you don't know. Trust your fresh eyes in this situation and go for it. Use that sword, cut through the BS, get out there. Um, and Princess of Swords, I always call it the Elle Woods Legally Blonde card. Like, Elle Woods in her pool, making her application video, getting into Harvard Law, talking to her ex, and just saying, what? Like, it's hard. This Princess of Swords energy around you this month is like, go for that thing. And actually trust what you don't know is your superpower. And let's see what your personal, soul-centered self-care message is for the month ahead. To compliment that, this is just for you. For no one else, okay, Taurus? Um, oh, empowerment. This is your word. This is your word to focus on. You're more powerful than you realize, and it is safe for you to be powerful. Ooh, I love that. So this whole month, empowerment is literally the act of putting power back into you, taking it back, trusting yourself, owning your sovereignty, owning your decision making, and like really um, taking up space with that, okay? Let's see what your sassy little text message from your higher self is. Ooh. It says, life is too short to fake it. Okay, Taurus? And that means anything. Life's too short to fake it. Smiles, orgasms, happiness. We don't fake these things, okay? We only are settling for the real thing, baby. So this month, as part of your empowerment journey, trust what you don't know, that it's perfect. And... Don't settle for anything fake, okay? You're here for the real, authentic thing.